Well, how about this little matchup? Some purple people eaters taking on the Orange Crush, Minnesota Vikings on the road, holding a playoff spot on a five-game win streak. Down the middle, right on cue, it's Hawkinson for the touchdown. They're in Denver to take on a Broncos team on a three-game win streak, thanks to Russ conjuring up the power of the 12s on Denver's behalf. Lutz, he missed it. Well met on defense. Five-yard penalty. Wow. Go fourth down. Good snap, good hold. Kick, perfect. And the Broncos have come to Buffalo, and they're going to leave with a win. Bill's just thought Christmas is coming. Let's get our shopping done early and get those gifts out. Wow, haven't ever seen anything like that. And probably won't ever see a TD catch like this. Remember when you sold the house for Wilson Broncos country? This is what you were expecting. After reviewing the play, the runner completed the pass. Touchdown. Control with two feet, the toe drag, no challenge required. What in the matrix was that? Next Gen Stats said it was the most unlikely catch in the history of mankind, or since they started tracking it. Like 3% probability of it being completed. Better chance Big Worm sells you actual ice cream than seeing something like that pulled off again. Incredible catch and maybe even a better throw in escaping pressure by Russell Wilson. Just phenomenal. Wilson looked like his old self again. His play has been nice during their three-game win streak. 98-plus rating in all three games. Six TDs, no picks. Last week, backyard footballing his team to a win. Two TDs, no INTs, a rating near 120. 12th play of the drive. Wilson gets rid of it for the touchdown to Javante Williams. Sets up a nice dual threat battle then, because Minnesota has a backyard aficionado of their own. Joshua Dobbs scoring on the ground again, 44 yards rushing, has run one in both games in purple, 44 plus rush yards in both games. Spinning away, gets a block from Garrison. Dobbs trying to shake his way to the end zone. As a passer, looked even better than he did in his debut. Amazing what getting to take some practice snaps will do. 268 yards, a touchdown, no INTs, a rating of 101.1 versus a very tough New Orleans secondary, has a 101 rate in both games as a Viking. Touchdown! Brandon Powell! Still waiting to see what he looks like with JJ. He's close, but we'll see. He did get cozy with tight end TJ Hawkinson, though. He went for 134 yards, a touchdown, 11 catches. And that's the escape route to the right. And then it's just all out effort by the tight end Hawkinson. I mean, you want to talk about just power, desire. Dobbs hit Jordan Addison for 69 yards. That's 50 plus yards in four straight games for him. Rolling out right. That's a tough throw across his body to Jordan Addison. So what are the two QBs facing? Dobbs should have time to work. He only took one sack. Broncos didn't sack Josh Allen once. Only two teams have fewer bags than they do, but it didn't matter versus the Bills. They picked off Allen twice, held him to a sub-60 rating, just 177 passing yards. This one is picked! Another takeaway intercepted by Moreau. Denver's defense came up with four turnovers versus the Bills. Principal Rooney is on line one. Do you know how many takeaways Denver has in its last two games? Here's a ball on the ground, trying to get it to Cook. Broncos say they have it, and they do. Nine takeaways. And their play versus quarterbacks is completely turned around. From weeks five to 10, holding signal callers to a sub 80 rate, from weeks 8 to 10, holding them to a sub-60 rating. Mahomes sets up and throws, and the ball's going to be intercepted. And the Chiefs turn it over for a second consecutive drive. Overall, they have given up a 111.4 rate to tight ends, though. They gave up 51 yards and a TD to tight end Dalton Kincaid last week. Little shoulder fake, wide open touchdown, Kincaid. What about what Wilson faces? Minnesota played the pass great last week, held New Orleans quarterbacks to a 71.1 rating, picked him off twice, held him to a nice low 5.4 yards per attempt. Winston launches a high ball and Makai Blackman comes down with his first NFL interception. Have they played quarterbacks that tough all year? No. Have they played them terribly? No. They are what you describe as mid. But they have a game wrecker in Daniil the QB Hunter King, picked up his 11th sack last week, leads the NFL. 14 TFLs, leads the league in that too. See it catches him with that backside elbow as he spins. And right there, like you said, 
Go ahead, celebrate. DJ Wanham picked up his fifth sack. Vikings tied for 11th in sacks this season. Cars went it out of time. And off the backside, DJ Wanham. You'd expect them to get home versus Russ. Most teams do. He took four sacks last week. Just a matter of what kind of damage those sacks do. They were, it was an all-out blitz. There's no nobody there. It's zero blitz. Skull. Denver's passing attack has been about quality more than quantity. That's also important to know. Wilson hasn't thrown for 200 yards in five straight games, hasn't cracked seven yards per attempt in any of them, so not a lot of big splash plays. It just isn't their strength. The primary guy he targets, Sutton, four straight games with a touchdown, has found the paint in seven of their nine games. Broncos pick it up. Sutton's got the big play. Denver's run game. They use it more than their pass game, actually. 38 attempts last week. Javante Williams, lead man, 79 yards. Well, you see the double team there, and then he gets up to the linebacker level, but that's a nice lane. They weren't super efficient, though. He was held to 3.8 per run. He's under four per carry for the year, too. He'll have a hard time cracking it this week, being the Vikings have held running backs to 3.6 a run. Into the hands of the running game, and that was Harrison Phillips stacking Jamal Williams. That's enough for me. Your turn. Let the comments section have it with predictions and hot takes. Panel attend only has predictions, though maybe some of their scores will represent a hot take.